this ANN News Brief. In its bid to curb the spread of coronavirus, Ethiopia says it will soon begin releasing more than 4,000 prisoners without completing their sentences. This gesture would only apply to those who were convicted of minor crimes and who have shorter than a year left on their sentences. Also, nursing mothers in prison would qualify. Attorney General Danish Abebe said the country would deport foreign prisoners who are serving time for drug-related offenses. Ethiopia currently has 12 confirmed coronavirus cases. The government says it does not want to take chances, especially with the way the virus has been spreading all over the continent. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed says Ethiopians should practice social distancing. Some large crowds have been reported to have ignored ignore the warnings and have gathered in the capital Addis Ababa to hold events. Bloomberg News is reporting that Rwanda police have shot and killed two persons for breaching the lockdown rules the government has imposed to curb the spread of the coronavirus. Rwanda National Police spokesperson John Basco Cabera is quoted as saying, the two young men who were shot were attempting to tussle with officers. Under Rwanda's two-week lockdown that began on Sunday, travel has been restricted between towns and cities, and people have been ordered to stay indoors. The country has more than 40 confirmed cases of the virus and is applying some of the most stringent measures on the continent. Rwanda was the first on the continent to impose a total shutdown as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. It also ordered public and private workers to work from home to stem the spread of the virus. Rwanda's borders have also been completely closed except to goods, cargo, and returning citizens who would immediately face a two-week quarantine period. We'll be right back. We are on the road every day, canvassing throughout Africa for news you really need. We follow this story everywhere, from every corner of Nigeria to the wide African expanse. We bring you what's making headlines. We connect you with news you can use. ANN, African News Network, in a truly African spirit. Zimbabwe public health workers are pacified now that the government has pledged to contribute COVID-19 protective equipment and pay risk allowances to, a lot, to all of them. The government was apparently bailed out by the arrival on Tuesday of the personal protective equipment donated by the Jack Ma Foundation. Health and Child Care Minister Dr. Obadio Moyo said in a television interview 20,000 kits are being rushed to all centers for distribution to frontline health workers. He also said the risk allowances are being processed. Those workers had threatened to quit. They said they could not cope without the protective equipment. The government has also approved substantial amounts for car loans to the health workers to ensure they travel to and from work in safe transport. The government said Zimbabwe now has three confirmed coronavirus cases and that 96 others have tested negative. That is the NN News Brief at 10. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, nnafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at NN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Adiemi.